was an offensive line coach. Do you, is, does somebody like that build an offense differently? Do they go protection out? Well, Coach Reese, to, he, he doesn't think much like an old lineman. <laughs> 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 He's not like line up in the power and line up in right, two but, tight ends and let's smash the football. But I'm, I'm just talking about in terms of how you build, how you how you discuss things. I mean, because a lot of a lot of the guys are, go to the line coach and okay, how do you? This is what we want to do. Make a protection for this. Yeah. Is it is it a little more inside out with him, or is it is it what yeah, you, like it what you see? Yeah, he has a better understanding of the offensive line and the responsibilities and how to protect it. Is the uh, backup quarterback position is it up for grabs and where are Grayson and Foster at this point? Yeah, I would say it's up for grabs between the four of them, between Graham. Uh, Grayson and Foster, I guess the three of them, um, this this fall camp, and, and and I don't have you know we don't have a timetable when it'll happen. Just whoever eventually asserts themselves as the guy, then we'll invest the reps into him. Last year at this time we didn't know Jokel or, or Boykin. What did, and Jokel obviously not in the picture this year mm -hmm. to watch film with him to, mm -hmm. to push him. Is who replaces that? person now, or, or is it collectively those four guys you were talking about? Yeah, I think that Bram and, and Trey are pretty close, and, and uh, you know, it's something that, that uh, we talk about with Trey in terms of, you know, the, the studying of the game and, and improving, and this is, he really, you know, becoming a student of the game is, is kind of, you know, what we, our goal for him, and so he, he's worked at that this summer. What was your thought when you saw number two preseason ranking? Jeremy, I was just following you on Twitter, man, and then I found out about it. So, um, man, it, it, the end of the season is what matters. And, and what matters for us is to get there. You worry about practice one tomorrow. Are the scripts ready? Are the kids ready? All the install notes. And, and, and for us to stay in day-to-day, -day, because Minnesota's a great football team. And we played them at their place, and they return a lot of guys on defense. And, and uh, they're a really good team that, that finished the season with a lot of momentum. And so um, none of it matters. You know, nobody would have cared about the Ole Miss game last year if we would have got beat by Sanford. And it's the same. Nobody will care about anything but us playing as well as we can against Minnesota. Well, how good of a feeling is it for you knowing that you got 10 guys coming back from that offense that was so successful last year? It gives you a good starting point uh, in terms of when we start tomorrow of knowledge. Um, but you always go back to the foundation of teaching it as if they've never heard it before. And then you can grow faster from into other things. Um, but, at the, you know, at the same time, you've got to stay true to what you are really good at. So, um, you know, I think their confidence is high. But I, you know, I said earlier that, Ten guys coming back and, and experience from last year um, is not going to win us a game. He's, he's battled through a lot of adversity here, um, and, and so you point to that that just as quickly as it, it, it is it is earned, it's so much easier to lose, and that it's a day to day deal of, of all right, how did you end up at this point? What did you do? Um, the time that you put in, and, and how you practiced and prepared, um, and, and so we need that and even more because now you know the expectations aren't just to to go out and, and to, to be the quarterback, it's to be a very good quarterback.